everyone today we will see top 3 interview questions on method of overloading with examples i'm creating one project java project uh, project name is method of overloading examples I'm using Java 1.8 version you can finish every time it will work remember decision click is no so, at this time creating one package com dot examples Uh, before going to example first we need to understand what is method overloading uh, I already wrote some content in a document we'll see method overloading is also called as compile time polymorphism static binding or early binding in some in some interviews uh, they will ask like what is static binding this method overloading concept is First, we need to understand what is polymorphism. As the name itself, poly means one, one in many forms. Polymorphism means one in many forms. One in many forms means person is available. The person act student student in school or um, same person can act employee in office same person can act as children in home that is called polymorphism polymorphism they are divided into two types one is overloading and one is overriding today we will see small examples on overloading as interview perspective method overloading is also called as compile time morphism if you want to implement method overloading at least one class is required one class is required so as you observe the second point I'm I created one class method of overloading one so I'm writing main method next point will see condition method name should be same and argument should be different we need to consider these two things method name and argument what does it mean so there is no restrictions for access modifiers what are the access modifiers public private protected and default there is no restriction when you are overriding a method and one more point private static and final methods you can override there is no problem at all small example we will see If you observe system dot out dot print ln, I'm writing a b c here. A b c is a what string? System dot out dot print ln. I'm passing as some fifty six. It is a integer data type. I'm passing as forty five dot zero. If you observe, that is a double value. System dot out dot print ln. This is a float. It's a true. This is a boolean. If you observe in in these lines, method name is same as this point. Method name should be same. Argument should be different. So I'm giving this is a string data type, integer data type, double data type, and float and boolean. So 
this is called method overloading so if you want to create method overloading by yourself you can create I'm I'm giving one more example loading to I'm writing small method so as in this point no restrictions for access modifiers I'm using as public written type is void and method name we can take em1 and and data type I will use as int i I'm printing that value as i and I will write two more methods like I will take as a double I will take as a float so restrictions there is no restrictions for access modifiers so there is no compile time so I'm calling m1 if I want to call instance method I need to create object of the class obj equals to new creating object if I have object I can call instance methods obj dot m1 if you observe m1 how many methods I wrote three methods float double and int if I pass some value 10.6 so 10.6 is which data type double data type so it will execute as this value it will be print if you observe this is the 10.6 this is small example for method over here there is some tricky will be there what is that tricky whenever if you are passing a value if I am passing as a 10 it will check the closest data type in your program like I wrote three methods in these three methods 10 is closest data type as int so it will print 10 there is no issue at all I'm removing this method so what will happen it will check integer it will be check integer is not available net there is a upcasting will be there first it will be check int short float long and double for the closest data types the float is not applicable so it will check these four values so int is not available short is not available long is not available double is available so it will print the value it will be execute the double uh, for your understanding I am writing here double float If I pass as 0 f so it will execute the float data type you see float it is running float one more tricky question I will tell you is a very very important question in interview room method overloading I do class name I wrote Please observe carefully public static void one argument I'm taking as class public static void m1 method name is same argument is different so I'm taking 
super class of string is object class if you observe this program i am passing m1 of null as i already told whenever you passing a value it will check the closest data type if you passes a null 99% everyone will think it will be execute the object why because it is a super class so that is the wrong way object is the super class and string is the sub class it will check closest data type is it's not a data type when you pass this argument it's a class now we can assign to the string so the closest value is string so anyway it will be execute the string this is very tricky question in interview rooms definitely it will ask this question this time modifying one more method now i will pass a wrapper class int wrapper class is integer we have eight wrapper classes over there one of the wrapper class i am passing string so both it will accept as a null if you pass as a null it is throwing some exception just observe m1 of string is ambiguous for the type method overloading 3 that means the compiler don't know which one need to execute so that's why it is throwing compile type exception why because string is and string so if you commented this one so there is no compile type exception Thank you, thank you very much.